good morning welcome to another weekly graphic novel and comic vlog so i did the last one for three weeks <laughs> i don't want to do another one for three weeks i keep saying i don't want to do this i don't want to do that if i would just take two seconds and film a clip so this is the intro um let's talk about reading plans for this week that's just going to be this intro clip let's talk about reading plans for this week i have a couple of things that I want to get to. Now, whether I get to them or not is going to be a completely different situation. I really, 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 really need to start my Percy Jackson graphic novel th situation. And granted, a lot of that is not going to be in this vlog because I'm doing a completely separate vlog of my reading experience going through the Percy Jackson series and as well as the Required and Present series. But I have not started that the, that graphic novel adaptation series yet and I need to because I cannot move on to the heroes of Olympus until I get those graphic novels read and then I start the novellas that are in between the series call me crazy but it is what it is so there's that I do have solo leveling checked out which I really really want to get to um, because I finished solo leveling in the last vlog and I really, really enjoyed solo leveling. I thought it was, I thought it was good. Like I said, and it's not like the best world building, but it is, I thought, I think it's fun to say the least. I think it's, it's fun. So there's that. Um, what else was I going to say? Let me think let me think oh I also want to get through Jujutsu Kaisen um because I am buddy reading that with Alana we're supposed to be reading the first two volumes I'm almost finished with volume one of Jujutsu Kaisen and I probably will finish it tonight I'm going to finish it tonight. I have to finish it tonight. I have to finish it tonight because I want to do a first impressions of Jujutsu Kaisen. So I need to finish it tonight or finish it today. At some, what I probably do is when I do my walk, it's like a walking every day when I'm at work, I take part of my lunch break and I walk. I probably will read um, the final chapters of the first volume of Jujutsu Kaisen today and then that way I can go ahead and get that video up tomorrow. It's wild. Two channels. This is why I get so confused. And then I gotta think about what I want to do for my recommendation video on Friday. Which I think I have an idea of what I want to do. But we'll see. But alright, I guess what I just wanted to do check in really quick and I will talk to y'all later. Hello, hello, hello. All right, um, just checking in here. Um, I am currently reading a couple of things. I am doing a completely separate project for um, the Percy Jackson series, and part of that comes with reading the graphic novel adaptation. So I'm currently reading The Lightning Thief. I don't have that much to go. I only have a small chunk left, but... Um, I'm probably going to try to read it through this and the Sea of Monsters adaptation. Um, I, hold on, because there's one more thing that I do. I think that I also want to go ahead and read Bigfoot and Nessie. Um, I haven't read this yet and I do want to go ahead and chug on through this. It's not going to take me long to read it. And so I just want to go ahead and get her done. So those are going to be the things that I'm going to work through tonight. Um, I did end up finishing Jujutsu Kaisen Volume 1. I'm butter reading that with Alana right now. And I have read the first volume. I get four stars for me. I need to write my review of it. But definitely a four star read for me. It was definitely more enjoyable than I anticipated. 
I don't read a lot of seinen, but I think it's seinen. I don't think that's shonen. I think I'm pretty sure that that's seinen. I could be wrong though. I will double check. But um, did I say I don't read a lot of shojo shonen shonen shonen? I my words tonight it's late. But um, I didn't I didn't know how I was gonna feel about it because Jujutsu Kaisen is like a huge. Like everybody likes Jujutsu Kaisen. It's very popular. Uh, even one of my close friends, her daughter, loves Jujutsu Kaisen. She's in middle school. I was not expecting the humor in Jujutsu Kaisen. That's what threw me. So it's the main character who uh, swallows the finger of this demon monster entity, this cursed entity. And so now he has to work to put the body back together before the people who run the Jujutsu Kaisen Academy like kill him and so in this first one we're really just getting to knowing we're just getting the opportunity to, to know the characters and um see a couple of their first missions which I think are pretty they're pretty wild pretty pretty wild so um Alana and I are supposed to be reading volumes one and two so I probably will start volume two in the next couple of days but I did finish volume one so tonight I'm definitely finishing this tonight. I may just start Sea of Monsters um, a little bit, but I definitely want to finish. Let's say this tonight. I do want to finish these two, and then um, maybe hop into a little bit of Sea of Monsters. But we'll see what happens. We'll see how I feel. All right, y'all. That is it. I am running low on time here. I also have to edit a video for my other channel tonight at some point so I need to do that take care of that but yes I will check in with y'all later how this turned out okay feeling a fuller and look yeah okay whatever I'm done hey y'all so I thought I would go ahead and wrap up this vlog I actually did not end up reading much past what I talked about earlier so I did end up finishing the Percy Jackson um book <laughs> the graphic novel adaptation I didn't like it <laughs> I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. I thought that the adaptation was poorly done to be honest with you and a lot of it has to do with the fact that there are some things that just shouldn't be adapted or if they're going to be adaptive you have to give more space because the issue with this one in particular is that I feel like such significant content related to the series was unfortunately just kind of left out from the narrative. So. I yeah I talk about it more in my vlog but I know that vlog is not going to drop for a very long time so I just thought I would kind of mention it here but I did give it three stars. I did finish my read of the Bigfoot and Nessie book. I thought it was really really cute. Children's graphic novel four stars. I ended up putting the second one on hold. It really was a great look at the 
I think, I guess the best way to describe it, at the influx in social media influencers and how it impacts, but not really in that way that it's like on the head. Like you would really, really have to dive deep into what the creators were doing with this one because it just follows Bigfoot who is having trouble kind of fitting in with the rest of his family. They're all super famous, but he hasn't really been a part of any sightings. And so he's not as famous. He's not really on social media the way his family is. And he ends up meeting Nessie, who is a version of the Loch Ness Monster. And she is on social media like that in terms of sightings and popularity. And she basically shows him like, this is not all that it's cut out to be, okay? All that glitters is not gold. I really don't like being very popular and famous and you don't have to be this way just because the rest of your family is like this. So I also love that messaging of just because your family has been set on doing one thing it doesn't necessarily mean that you two have to do that thing. Like that it, it doesn't have to work out that way. So I really enjoy that especially with the influx of the importance of social media and so many kids growing up wanting to be social media influencers only seeing like the outside of social media influencing and not really understanding what happens on the back end of it. I thought that this was just a great way to you know introduce two very popular characters but also have some really interesting conversations about social media that was definitely appropriate for a younger audience. Outside of those couple of things y'all I really didn't end up reading much additional material because as you saw with the last clip I actually ended up going to a small con that's not too far away from me and so I spent my weekend there. Um, my daughter started back gymnastics this weekend and so my weekend has pretty has been pretty packed and I've been really focused on reading some more children's lit which is very intentional very much so related to work and so I was really focused on that I'm hoping that next week I end up you know or this upcoming week I end up picking up a little bit more material fingers crossed here <laughs> I'm hoping so I'm actually going down to my parents I haven't seen them and months <laughs> I've spoken to them seen them via FaceTime but we just have not had the time to visit them so I'm hoping that you know taking the opportunity to go visit them will give me a little bit more time while they have my daughter it'll give me a little bit more time to read so I'm definitely interested in continuing with Jujutsu Kaisen coming up and then some other manga and graphic novels that I plan on reading so that should be fun but yeah let me know what you end up reading this week in terms of graphic novels and manga and comics in the description box down below and I will be back with another video soon